In this lecture, we're going to look at integrating progress bars with the Bulma CSS framework. So let's add a new progress element with the class of progress. We can give this a value, for example, 20%. The value in this circumstance is a textual value, but we'll also have to add a value for the bar itself. And that is a simple numerical number, doesn't include the percent sign. And then we have to tell it what the max is. So we'll say that the max is 100. And once again, this is a number without a percent sign. As you can see, there is our standard progress bar sitting at 20%. Let's copy this for each one of our colors. We'll move up from 20 to 30. But this time, we'll use the is primary class. So now we have a primary colored progress bar and a standard colored progress bar. Let's do the same for our other colors, such as is info, this time with 35%. And as you can see, we now have a blue progress bar as well. If we also add is success, maybe a 45, we get the addition of our green progress bar. We can also add warning, this time maybe it's something like 65%. And the warning is a yellow bar. And let's add is danger for the final color at 100. So if we take a look now at making another progress bar, but this time we add both the progress class and the is small class. I'm going to give this the value of 50 just so we can see it and the max of 100 like so. And you might not be able to tell this, but it is definitely smaller than the initial bar. If we did the same and I will simply a small bar and these are colored progress bars so therefore a normal bar must be progress with the class of progress and we can give this one a value of maybe something a little smaller so as you can see it's a normal bar with the value of 30 percent let's do it once more so progress dot and we can add is medium this time, as well as the progress class. So this one will be slightly bigger. Let's add it 60 and the max of 100. So now you can see that is definitely slightly bigger than the normal size. And for a significantly bigger bar, we can add is large. Let's add the value of 80 and the max of 100. So as you can see, now we have a significantly bigger bar here with our progress. And don't forget, if you wanna add a color to this, all you need to do is add the is primary or whatever color you want to add. Now that's one of the great things about Bulma is it's super simple to attach different colors, attach different sizes and so on with each one of the components. So this is just about everything to do with progress bars inside of the Bulma CSS framework.